Oh, so you're interested in the PGY Tech everyday 18 liter camera bag? I got it right here. I've been using it for over a month now. I'm gonna tell you all about this bag, the features, the benefits, what I like about it, and of course, what I don't like about it. So here we go. All right, so first and foremost, this is the PGY Tech 18 liter everyday carry bag. I've really enjoyed using this bag. I actually took it with me on a trip out to Disneyland, carried it on my back all day long, and I wanted to let you know that it was a very comfortable bag to carry. I'll start by showing you the back of the bag because that's where the comfort starts. So on the back of the bag, we have these nice shoulder straps. It's got this kind of rubberized foamy material in the shoulder straps. It does not really dig into your shoulders at all. It really does a great job of sitting very comfortably and really giving you kind of good comfort all day long. On top of it, it's got this strap right here, which does cross across the top part of your chest, which helps give it a little extra support, taking a little bit of the load off the back, which is nice. And then it's got two straps up here because it's got additional straps that you can clip onto this thing and really get some extra additional support. When we flip into the inside this is where i really enjoyed using this bag because it did not make me sweat at all it's got this kind of like spongy material which is actually just like a plasticky material is very springy very elastic the nice thing is it's not like hard foam or it's not like something that is going to be something that's going to keep the heat in because it's so light and airy it does a great job of really dissipating the heat so this way you're not carrying a whole bunch of heat on your back so that's really nice i do like the way it feels it's also got loops down here on the bottom, which also provides you an extra strap around the lower portion of your body. So that's kind of nice too, because then it takes the pressure off your lower back. You got the chest straps, which help take the pressure off the upper back. This bag does a wonderful job of really taking the pressure off your back to make it a great everyday carry. Now it does have these straps down here at the bottom, these extra little tabs. And this is where you can mount, kind of carry like a longer tripod or something of that nature. If we continue to work our way around the bag. It does have this slide through slot if you're out there traveling you can go ahead throw this on to your luggage this way you don't have to carry it on your back you can throw it on your luggage you got your roller cart you're good to go it's really nice in that regard as well it does have two side handles here this way you can pick the bag up by the side it's got one on this side basically it's got two of them it's got two handles right here this way you can carry it on the side which is really nice and it's also got this top handle listen i had this thing really pumped up with a lot of gear and i'll be completely honest with you it did a great job of supporting this strap feels very solid good stitching really held in there well so i've been very impressed with the build quality because the other part is is that the outside of this bag is also kind of like this water resistant material. It's really gonna repel water. So you don't need an additional bag hood or anything of that nature. It's gonna do a great job of really protecting you from the elements. The bottom part is kind of like a, uh, I'd call it like a canvasy bottom. We do have two additional straps here. So those straps on the back, you can kind of crisscross down here to really hold something to the bottom. You know, I, I love being able to, to hang things on the bag and, and really maximize the space of the bag. Over here, we do have two water slots, one on each side. Now they're elasticy as far as the springiness goes. So maybe over time that would wear out, but you could put a water bottle in there or you could do like a mini tripod, like a gorilla pod. This way you got everything you need ready to go rate of log. As we move to the inside of the bag, it has this magnetic clip right here, which is fantastic. It locks it in. So this way it doesn't doesn't come apart, which is nice. We go ahead and open it up. We got a top compartment in here so you can fit a lot of things in here. I typically kept my air blower in here. Air blower, you gotta have one of these if you got a mirrorless camera. I also kept my DD D4 Duo microphone in the top up here. Also, just a mini flash. You're going out, you're taking pictures of the family. It was a family vacation, so I wanted to make sure that I had a flash just in case we got into some low light situations that needed a little bit of flash. I'm gonna go ahead and actually, this bag opens up up three different ways. You can go open from the top. You can go open from either one of the sides here as well. I'm gonna go ahead, open it from the top. It will, it will allow us a little bit more access to show you exactly what's in here. So in this top section, it's got a magnetic top up here. Kept my SD cards, additional cables, and keep the straps up here. So that's nice. You can store things up here. In the inside of the bag, I have my Sony a7 IV right in here with the 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens, which is actually what I'm filming on right now. I actually slid it in from the side compartment the lens the end of the lens was over here and then i had the camera tucked up against here it took me a while to kind of figure out the spacing where i wanted to 
put everything. But once I had it figured out, once I had it down, we were good to go. Over here, I got my Sigma 24 to 70 lens. Over here right now, I got a stand in the 35 millimeter F 1.4 lens. I'll tell you how I actually carried that around later on as we get more to the side compartments. But normally what was sitting in here was the Sony 20 millimeter F 1.8 lens, which was my low light vlogging lens for late at night. And then I have uh, my Zeiss 85 millimeter F 1.8, which is the lightest 85 millimeter that you can buy in the market with stabilization. Love that lens, great portrait lens, great for telephoto type stuff without having to carry a huge telephoto lens. Really was glad I brought that one along. And then we got, we got some additional pockets over here. Remember this is gonna be kind of folded up here. We have a pocket here, which you can store some items. Have another zip bag over here, which had nothing in, but over here in this one, this is where I kept my step up rings which are very important. If you're looking to pick up any of the gear that I'm talking about in this one, I'll leave links down in the description below. Feel free to use those links. They're affiliate links. They do help support my channel. I really appreciate when you guys use those as it does allow me to continue to make free content just like this one. So yeah, so we had the step up rings and then I also had extra caps because of course, you know, if you ever need to cap off your cameras, you wanna make sure that you have the caps available. And then other goodies in here, receipts, We'll expense those later. Then it's got like this extra little clip over here so you can kind of secure your luggage. So that's one of the nice things I like about this bag is there is some good security features on it so you can have good peace of mind when you're traveling through the airport. I'm gonna go ahead, seal up the top of this bag and show you exactly what I mean. So right here, there are these little loops. It's on both of these straps right here, which is kind of nice. And when you're traveling in the airport, Nobody's getting at your bag. Even though it's got side compartments, which which I absolutely loved. I was I was so grateful that I was able to use those. It was really great because right here, got your Sigma 24 to 70, your Zeiss 85 millimeter, and then we got batteries over here. You don't have to keep a separate container full of batteries. You got three battery slots. You actually have a fourth one kind of tucked away over here, but it's kind of small and it couldn't fit a fourth battery in there. But I got two of my Z batteries over here. I had one of my Sony ZV-1 batteries over here. That was nice. I was able to carry the batteries. And I think the ZV-1 battery without this extra little case, I think that would fit in here. But notice how it's got these, these green magnetized coin thingies. So what's nice about this is when you got a fully charged battery, you go green. When you have a dead battery, you go red. And this way, you know when you get back which battery you have to charge at the end of the shoot day. It's also got like a little pen holder in here. So you can put a couple pens in here if you need to. Or if you got a lens pen, you can put that lens pen in here. I actually don't own any lens pen. Do me a favor, comment down below. Have you ever used a lens pen? That's one side. The other side is pretty much the exact same. This is where I dropped in my a7 IV with that 16 and 35 millimeter lens straight down in. So when I was grabbing it out, just grab it out like that. Like I said, I had the 20 millimeter over here. This is the 35 millimeter right now. But over here in these side compartments, this is where I kept my Peter McKinnon variable ND filters. This is the two to five stop. Over here, I got the six to nine stops. So I got these two Peter McKinnon signature series. Now, when I bought these, was not 100% sure what mist was. I didn't really understand it. I kind of wish I would have bought the mist. That would help with some of the highlights and kind of soften those highlights up a little bit. But I've been very happy with these filters. I don't find very much color cast at all. So they do a great job of really keeping things looking crisp, looking sharp. But I tuck both those in here. There's some additional pockets in here. You know, you got the one where I keep the one lens, additional things over here. So the side compartment goes all the way around and all the way up to the top. So this thing can really flatten out. If it's not something that you wanna carry when you're going through the airport, you don't have to use it that way. You can actually fold this thing down. So if you got a lot more gear that you wanna take, maybe you got a bigger bag, you could actually fold this thing down. It smushes down really small. So I'm gonna flip the bag over one more time. So over here on the back, we have another compartment and you got room to fit in a 14 or 15 inch laptop. It's gotta be a thinner one. I have a 15 inch razor, which is a little bit thicker. It's a, it's a gaming laptop. It's good for editing and things of that nature. But my work computer, which is a 14 inch and it's really thin, that fit in here beautifully. And then also I had a 10 inch tablet. So you can fit a 10 inch tablet and a 14 inch laptop down in here. And it's also got this nice little divider. If you wanna pull out your laptop, you just kind of pull on this and it pulls out your laptop. It makes it a lot easier to get at. So like I said, I was able to fit a 14 inch laptop in here along with a 10 inch tablet. Actually the first day I did forget to take those out. So I'm walking around the parks with those 
in there. Still very comfortable, but definitely added a lot of extra weight. So after that first day, that was it was so much nicer not to have that stuff in the bag. Also, there is one additional side pocket. So over here, there is a secret kind of compartment. You could stuff things in here like a passport or something like that. Probably wouldn't do that. It is magnetized over there, but I'll be completely honest. I did not use this at all. Would not trust something to just a magnet. If it had like a small zipper or something like that, would feel a lot better about using that. This is the PGY Tech 18 liter everyday carry bag. And I gotta be completely honest with you, absolutely thrilled with this bag. It's did a great job. It really served the purpose well. Oh, and I mentioned, I mentioned, what did I do with that 35 millimeter lens? Right now I'm shooting on the a7 IV with the 16 to 35 millimeter GM lens. And then up here, I have Sony a7C with the 20 millimeter lens. What did I ultimately do? Well, what you can do is right in here, you can actually put right in here, right in this top section. So put the a7C with the 35 millimeter f1.4 lens. And I turn it sideways. So this way, when you're grabbing it out, I was able to grab it by the handle, pull it out. That was awesome. Then what I could do is I could have a fixed prime photo lens and then I use the a7 IV as our video camera. So that was kind of nice. If you like this video, my name is Brian, the camera guy. I do reviews of Sony cameras and lenses along with gear, just like this one. So if that's something you're into, hey man, do me a favor hit that subscribe button, ring that bell and comment down below. Is this a bag that you're really looking at? And do you have any questions that I can help you answer? If you like this video, I'm sure you're gonna like the video on the screen now. Go ahead and click on that video and I'll see you on that video next. Before you leave, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for watching.